Good afternoon. Welcome to Comsol Metaphysics uh, Chemical Reaction Engineering module, Introduction to the module itself. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Chemical Reaction Engineering module, what kind of feature you can find in this module, and how can you use it. And at the end, we're going to go with a simple uh, plug flow reactor uh, example. Uh, I'm Hakam al a technical support engineer at Enedi Engineering and Agencies. Uh, please use my email and you can contact us through his email and phone number uh, for any future questions or inquiries regarding this module or any other console or inquiries. So let's begin. Uh, as, an overview, as an overview of the chemical reaction engineering module, you can use it to simulate uh, the acting systems, space or space dependent or independent models. You can use it to simulate chemical kinetics, a mass transport and heat transfer in different media, for example, porous media or flat bed reactors, as a simple example. <clears throat> you can use the predefined batch reactor model, C batch reactor, CSTR, or continuous steel tank reactor, and plug flow reactor, as we're going to use today. You can use it to, say, to simulate space dependent or independent. Uh, reactors. Uh, the space dimensions you can use in this uh, module, uh, for example, the zero dimension uh, is just starting with an equation, a chemical equation or a reactive equation, up to a three dimensional model, which is a 3D model, for example, a 3D packed reactor with catalytic bed or uh, absorber or a scrubber. All these models can be used in this module. Uh, for the multiphysics part, you can combine this uh, module with other modules, like, for example, CFD module, heat transfer module, plasma module, electrochemistry, uh, for example, uh, corrosion, electrochemistry, and electrical position, uh, subsurface flow module, or microfluidics module, and thus creating a more comprehensive and more complex model than you just use the module by itself. Uh, it's very intuitive and it's very easy to use. So first, you can just type in the chemical equation. For example, uh, A plus B uh, equals C for a reaction to C. Uh, by itself, it automatically creates the material balance, species A, species B, and the product of species C. And then you can define what kind of reaction is it. Is it forward reaction, backward reaction, based on the signs you've used? Define the kinetics using either the Arrhenius expression or using the K, uh, forward rate reaction constant, which is the KF in our case, as you can find at the bottom here. Uh, some of the flexibilities you can find in this specific module, which is not available in other modules, is that you can jump from a zero-dimensional model or just a chemical equation or a chemical reaction equation into a three-dimensional or two-dimensional reactor by just switching your model from uh, zero-dimension using this feature generate space dependent model as you can see in this example then you can use the component which kind of select your component you're going to use from this uh, pull down menu and thus converting your model from a two dimension to a three dimension or a two dimension or one dimension model it's up to you uh, some of the feature you can find in this model is uh, active catalytic bed, uh, pellet red, uh, pellet red. Uh, in this case you can have an extra dimension which is uh, mass transfer or heat transfer also throughout the pellet bed itself or the pellets itself. So you have your 3D model reactor, which is this big cylinder or packed bed cylinder. And throughout the catalytic cater bed itself, the pebbles or the catalyst itself, you can have different concentration upon its surface and throughout the depth of the catalyst itself. So we have a fourth dimension throughout the uh, pellet bed or reactive pellet bed. This is one of the features that are available only in this mod module. Uh, as, for the, as for the thermodynamics, uh, we have built in thermodynamic, thermodynamic property library where you can uh, uh, compute uh, transport properties, uh, heat of formation and evaporation, and mix, uh, heat of mixing using the tools are built into COMSOL in the most recent versions we have. You can do your flash calculations using COMSOL also throughout this module. And you can use uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, tools or features to calculate different thermodynamic and physical properties. For example, densities, viscosities, and so on. And heat of evaporation or heat. Uh, heat. Uh, you can use uh, the import features in COMSOL 
uh, for example, if we would like to for, uh, import NASA format binomials and ChemCan files, you can import it using uh, the, the import feature available under reaction engineering as we're going to use today. You can just import text file in a, a certain syntax or it's written down in a certain way or certain syntax, syntax which defines the chemical properties or the materials used. You can learn more about that by visiting the ChemCan providers. As for the plug flow reactor, we're going to start with Comsom Multiphysics. This is our simple model of a, of a plug flow reactor. Let me share first my screen. We'll start by Comsom Multiphysics. First, we're going to start with the model wizard, as always. Uh, this time, I'm going to use a zero dimensional model. I'm going to go to chemical species and transport, select chemical reaction, chemical engineering, which is RE. Now the other physics interface is reaction engineering. We're going to go to study and select our stationary plug flow model for the study. Now we have our interface ready. Uh, first, we can start by grabbing some of the parameters. Instead of importing, inputting the parameters manually, we can just start uh, by inputting the parameters. Go to the parameters. If you have console installed on your computer, you're going to have, to have the same exact parameters that I have. Go into console, installation folder, console multiphysics. Applications. You should find it under the installation folder. Let me search for it for a moment. On the tutorial, this is going to call uh, non isothermal plug flow parameters. And these are parameters. If you look into the parameters, you can find the inlet uh, volumetric flow, the inlet mode fraction of A. Everything is defined forward frequency uh, factor, which is the K in our K for the Arrhenius uh, equation. Uh, the inlet, the molar flow of M, K, and A, M2, nitrogen, which is the, our inert uh, species, and the temperature of the inlet and uh, temperature of the heat exchanger, heat exchange medium in the reactor. So we're going to call on these parameters later in our model. As for the physics itself, let's define our physics. First, we're going to define our reactor. Instead of a uh, reactor type, instead of batch, we're going to go select plug flow. And under energy balance, we're going to include an energy balance. For now, we're going to keep it at zero, and we're going to change it later. And under mixture properties, again, under the pressure, we're going to select P reactor, which is the pressure of the reactor from the parameters. As long as it's black, then it's understood by the, by the software. If it's orange or red, then there is an error and we should double check. Uh, then we can go to physics, reaction, which is reaction engineering in this case. You can select reaction to add a reaction node. Uh, and then the formula. We will type our reaction formula, which is A, forward reaction to K plus M. Make sure you use the uppercase or lowercase depending on your uh, reactions or the parameters you've selected. So not to confuse. And then click apply. 
it will create the species for this reactor, for this reaction. And for the reaction itself, we're gonna go with the Ahini's expressions. And we're gonna grab them from also from the parameters. So the forward frequency, which is AF, in our case, it was called A, F underscore reaction. And the division energy, it was called EF reaction. As for the species, I'm gonna go create another species which is not available here, which is the inert species uh, for nitrogen. I'm gonna call it N2, N2. Uh, going back to the initial values, we're gonna find the initial values for our species this way. So the initial value, For the temperature, for the inlet temperature, it was T inlet, so capital T, uppercase T underscore inlet. And for this, say, for this species, it's, uh, for the A, it's called F inlet underscore A, or I can copy, copy paste it from the parameters if I need. So that's it for the species. Next, we can import the chemkin file I was referring to. So we can just go to the chemkin import species under chemical and the reaction engineering RE, go to browse, then as a thermal plug flow thermo, which is thermodynamic properties, and then import it. And now it's imported into, into the software. Next, we're gonna go to the study. Change the range. to be one, 0 0.5, a step of 0 0.5 to 0 0.1. We'll use this the, uh, uh, range, range tool. So from one, 0 0.5 to one, like that. Oh, this is a mistake, so let me correct it. Yes, that is. Okay, 0 0.05 to 5 meter cube. This is my volume. I'm going also to add a parametric suite on the study parametric suite. Under the parametric suite, I'm gonna select the parameter. If I wanted to have a fraction of A, it changes the fraction of A from one. Oh, this one. From one, the step of 0 0.5 to 0 0.1. Like that. Meta range is just different consequent values like this. Yes, this is correct now. We can also add, add uh, the, the energy balance part. We can go again to the reaction engineering in the queue. We can add the energy. Uh, 
as this equation, this function, like that. And then we should click compute to compute this model. This is the model flow rate and temperature plots. This is the, these, are, these are the default plots. We can add an extra plot. For example, if I would like to plot the concentration of A and how it changes. Yes. Uh, so if I would like to plot the concentration of A, I can create another plot. So I can first select a one dimensional plot group, as it, one dimensional plot group. And then select a global plot. And under the global plot, I can remove all these and type in an expression to calculate the, the, uh, the variable of uh, consideration of A. But before that, I would like to first to, uh, to create the variable. I can go to definitions, right click on it, create a variable. Let's call it X underscore A. And then type in the expression to calculate this variable, which is conversion of A. And yes, if I go back to global, I can select this variable from this list. As com component one dot X underscore A, like that. I plot it, and there's an error. I need to calculate it first. Yes. So now we have the conversion of A throughout the volume of the plug flow reactor. 